everyone. Today is our summer interview series episode nine and I am super excited to interview Brenda today. Um, she and I go back all the way to, was it Cleveland, Brenda? Is that where we first met? I think that was in 2015, right? Um, but since then, we lived in Pennsylvania together for a little while and so we were able to stay connected there and, and do some stuff together. Um, and we even got to fly together and travel together and oh my gosh, so much fun. Okay, she is hopping on here and she's gonna share a little bit about her story and I'm super excited to have you guys um, listen in on this today. Um, it's gonna be very powerful. Um, empowering you with the tools to be able to live a life you love, um, especially where it concerns our loved ones. Um, you know, it, a lot of times we can feel really stuck um, and Brenda's going to share more about that when she's, she's sharing her story. As she hops on here, I just want to remind you again, this is about integrated living, which simply means that you're combining your passions with work that you love to do. So you're living a life that you love to live every single day. That's really what integrated living is. Um, and still adding her. So we're just going to wait a couple of seconds. If you're here, let us know you're here. We would love to know that you're watching, even if you can only hop on for a few seconds. Um, just drop a hello below. We'd love to welcome you personally. And uh, we're still adding here. So as soon as Brenda hops on here, then she's going to take it away and she's going to tell us a little bit about herself um, and give a little intro there. Um, but yeah, Brenda and I are super excited because we get to see each other in just like a week next week. Okay, so like, okay, maybe like a week and a half or two weeks. Okay, it's not popping on here. Let me try to invite her again. So yeah, <laughs> um, there we go. We'll add her again. So we're super excited because we get to get see each other again in Vegas. Um, we didn't get to see each other last year, but this year we do. And here she is. Yay. Hey, Brenda. Yay. <laughs> Hello there. Hey, I'm super excited to see you. You look glowing as usual. So thank you. Same to you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> One thing you guys need to know about Brenda is when we were in Atlanta, was it Atlanta? Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Atlanta. She was my personal accessorizer because I'm not good with accessories <laughs> and she, she made sure <laughs> that I was always put together <laughs> and even my dress. Yes. I think you, you ironed my dress for me because I did iron. Yes, I did. It's not my forte. <laughs> But it was my pleasure to be able to do that for you. I know. And last year I was just all wrinkly and not accessorized. I don't know. <sighs> well, we'll be in uh, Las Vegas together. If you need something, I'll give you my hotel room number. You all can right. drop by. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll definitely be getting together for sure. So. Uh, definitely. Thank you so much for joining me today, Brenda. I know mm -hmm. you're a busy mama and you're running all around in the summer with your kiddos. Right? Y yes, we are. We're busy. Yeah. But it's okay. I love it. Yeah. Well, thank you again for being here with me. And do you just want to tell a little bit about yourself? You know, what's your family like? Where do you live and your favorite hobby? So I've been married for 16 years and we have two kids. Sarah is 14. Evan will soon be 13. So I officially have two teenagers in the house, which is really hard to believe. It's because it just <laughs> went so fast. Like, huh? Oh. we live in central Pennsylvania, about a half hour north of Penn State University. And my favorite hobby, I really had to think about that, Chelsea, because at this <laughs> stage in life, I think my hobby is just be, being involved with my kids and their activities and, and keeping everybody going in the right direction. And that's probably what my hobby is. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. both of your kids are in sports. Is that correct? Are they both pretty? I know your daughter yeah. is. Yeah, they do track and soccer, and my daughter does band and dance, and so we, we're usually pretty busy. Yeah, that and that's only with fun, two. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so in about like five to, to ten years, you might need to help me out because <laughs> I'm going to have Whew. a lot of kids who are teenagers. Yeah, you will, <laughs> and, and you will be very, very busy, trust me. <laughs> We got to get the oldest one driving so then she can do all the running. <laughs> right. Oh, right. I'm already thinking that. Oh, yeah. I bet. Well, that's not very <laughs> far away. No, it's only two years away for us. Wow. Two, maybe a year and a half, and that's it. That's hard right. to believe. So tell me, 
This is why we're here today. Tell me about your experience with your mom um, and her various health issues. I know cancer was a big one. Mm -hmm. Um, What was that like for you? Well, could I just share my Shackley story? Like, yeah, right there and, absolutely. Okay, so I think it was, um, I was trying to figure it out, I think it was around 2007. My mom was diagnosed with multiple myeloma and amyloidosis. So multiple myeloma is a cancer, and amyloidosis is a disease that it hardens your, the walls of your organs, like, like your heart and your lungs and so on. And she went through chemotherapy and a bone marrow transplant. And then I think she was in remission for three years. So it was 2010. I started to look at my own family and I, and I started questioning like what causes cancer? Because it used to be that cancer was very uh, unusual and rare. And now everybody is dealing with it in some way. And so I felt like I should be doing something better for my family, but I really had no idea where to even begin. Mm -hmm. So one day I had this very strong urge to go to Goodwill and it was very intense, and I had to go pick up my son at preschool, and I only had a few minutes, but I felt this urgency to go to Goodwill. So I went, because I never miss a shopping opportunity. I walked <laughs> in the door. <laughs> I walked in the door, and there was Ethel Donnelly. She is the one who had introduced my family to Shackley 30-plus years ago. So we exchanged hellos, how you doing, what are you doing? I told her I was a stay-at-home mom. Mm-hmm. And then I excused myself, went to the back, and she followed me. <laughs> so while I'm flipping through, I know, while I'm flipping through children's clothes, she's like telling me, you know, Brenda, you're a stay-at-home mom, and Shackley has this really great opportunity. And she talked about cars and trips and cash and this mm-hmm. guy named Roger Barnett. And I'm thinking, <laughs> why is she telling me this? Because I have no interest in a business and I wasn't even using Shackley products even though I grew up with Shackley. My mom was a distributor when I was young so I was familiar with Shackley and so she told me all this information and then I got out of there as fast as I could. (laughs) Went and got my son. Um, A couple days later she called me and she just started watering that seed that she planted Mm -hmm. and she was very nice about it. She wasn't pushy or anything. And I started thinking about, you know, like I've been wanting to do something more for my family. Maybe this is it. But then I also was, I was like researching Shackley really hard to like, I think I was trying to find something negative so I could say, Mm -hmm. oh, absolutely not. This is not for me. Thanks so much. And close that door. Mm -hmm. But I didn't find anything negative. Mm -hmm. And so I went downstairs. No, that's a good thing. <laughs> right? So I went downstairs and I told my husband, I said, you know, I think this is what I'm meant to do. And he says, well, my dad swore by Shackley. And I was shocked. I'm oh, like, wow. What do you mean? He, yeah. I, his dad, I believe it, he had lymphoma. And when his parents got married, they, he was only expected to live a couple of years. And they were married for 30 years. So I'm wow. like, okay, yeah, Shackley. Yeah. So I thought that was a a sign that this is what I needed to do. And, oops, oh, no. Nope, you're still there. No worries. You're still there. Uh Uh-oh, we might have to invite you back on. Hang on. Bear with us, guys. Might need to get her back on here. Let me see. There we go. All right. Says you're already on there, so we'll just give it a second. But oh my goodness, amazing, huh? 30 years. They were married 30 years um, after a cancer diagnosis, where she said, oh. But I mean, we're not even getting into the, the nitty gritty here yet. Let me get her back on here. All right. Um, but yeah, you guys, oh my gosh, if you're here um, and you're totally amazed by that, then drop me a line below telling me that you're. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I do it all the time. Okay. All right. So anyways, I felt that that was a sure sign for me to get into Shackley. So that was um, Thanksgiving weekend of 2010, January 4th. And I'm learning the whole time. I'm learning about the new products. I'm teaching my Mm -hmm. mom and she's learning. January 4th, she told, she was told that her cancer had returned. Mm -hmm. And since she knew all this stuff about Shackley now, she says, I want to do the RX for life. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked. Because at the time, I'm like, well, that's a couple hundred dollars a month. And I felt that was a lot of money to spend. And, but really what I had no idea is what it was going to save.
save us, not only financially, emotionally, um, physically for her. It was huge. Um, so I did lose my mom still. Um, it was a couple years later, 2013, May of 2013. But she was cancer-free for 10 months prior oh. to that. Wow. So she didn't, die. she didn't die of cancer. She died of amyloidosis because wow. that came back mm -hmm. and started hardening, hardening her, her organs and so on. And I'll tell you, my mom was home the, the whole time. And before she passed, like hours before, she was walking around her house making preparations because she knew her time was coming. Oh, my and when gosh. She, yeah, when she passed, she was like, she just said, you know, everything's getting very dark. And she was gone. Like, wow. it was totally amazing. Totally amazing. And you can't, I mean, I felt God was so good to us through all of that. So wow. experiencing all of that and being mm -hmm. reintroduced to Shackley made it incredibly easy for me to make lifestyle changes. Because mm -hmm. I trust Shackley. I trust their products. I trust their science. They have the science mm -hmm. and um, everything to back up their products. So choosing their nutrition, green cleaning products, which not only saves our health, but tons of money, um, mm -hmm. the skincare, everything. It's, it's just been a huge blessing to be um, involved with Shackley and to be able to share that with others. Wow. So... You know, knowing what you know now, right, and having those experiences where you saw what it did for your mom, you saw what it did for your father-in-law, right? It was your mm -hmm. father-in-law. How does that help you to share, um, to share your passions? I just share our experience because yeah. <laughs> what's better than that? I mean, we've experienced it. I've seen it firsthand. And plus, I'm involved with this huge community of Shackley people who have used Shackley sometimes 50, 60 years. The proof mm -hmm. is there. And mm -hmm. the quality is there. And so it just, it makes it easier to share, even though a lot of times people look at you like you're crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think <laughs> it, maybe it's just not the right time for them. Maybe they haven't mm -hmm. had that moment like I had where I finally stopped and I started questioning things like, and making a decision to make some changes. But it's been a blessing. That's amazing. So what, this is kind of off, off track a little bit, but so what changes have you seen in your family? I know that that's really what got you started was just asking questions mm -hmm. about how could you help your own family? Um, what changes have you seen for your kids and your husband and yourself? Well, it's been, um, I just found out this past year that I have asthma. And I really didn't oh. know that until I got into a situation where I, um, I was very stressed. I was running through the airport to catch a plane, and then I lost my son in the meantime. Oh, my goodness. And getting through that airport, I really thought I was going to die. I mean, I just I couldn't breathe. I kept coughing. I didn't even know what was happening. Um, mm -hmm. And this guy picked me up in his, this chair to push me along. Mm -hmm. He's like, do you have asthma? And I was like, I just said, yeah, just because I was like, no, I don't have asthma. Mm -hmm. But I do. Mm -hmm. um, so the fact that we switched cleaners and got rid of the toxic chemicals in our home so many years ago, it's been eight and a half mm -hmm. years now, that's been huge. Um, I feel like we get sick less often. And if we do get sick, we, we know what to do. I don't even, we rarely ever go to the doctor except for wellness checkups. Um, we simply build our immune system to fight it. Um, and things wow. like, I don't know, do you want to talk about menopause yet? <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Let's, let's dive into that. Cause I know you said you experienced that with your mom and watching her and uh, you, know, you learned so much. So yeah. <laughs> let's dive right in. Brenda. My, so, <laughs> my mom, you know, even though she used Shackley for so many years and I'm sure Ethel was there telling her like, you could use this mm -hmm. and you can use that. I watched her suffer with hot flashes and things. So mm -hmm. when I got involved with Shackley, I'm like, I know this time is coming and I want to be prepared because I don't <laughs> want to live through what my mom lived through. So I've mm -hmm. always used the Vitalizer and the, the soy protein, the Life Shakes. That's always been mm -hmm. my, my base. And when I was 47, I started with hot flashes and I was like, whew, my mom wasn't kidding. It's <laughs> <laughs> wicked. So oh, no. I immediately ordered GLA. 
And Mm -hmm. I remember I started it on a Saturday morning. I did not have another hot flash until late morning on Monday. And I hadn't taken my pills yet. So it stopped them immediately. And I learned it's best for me to take them right before bed. And then wow. a couple years later, probably two years later, the night sweat started. And you are literally on fire, pouring mm-hmm. with sweat. So you rip the covers off. And then a couple minutes later, you're freezing cold. So you put them back on and you go through that all night long, all night long. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and so thanks to our Shackley community and actually one of my downlines, because she reminded me of it. She said, you know, she tried to try vitamin E. So the first night... I added vitamin E. I felt a difference. The next night, wow. more of a difference. Excuse me. By the third night, I was slept through the night soundly. So wow. I might get a little warm in the night, but I really I don't have any problems with that anymore, basically. Well, I'm taking and... notes of all of this because my time will come too. <laughs> Your time is coming. <laughs> right, it's coming. <laughs> That's why it's good to have older friends. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, and the community, you know, reaching out and asking people. Yeah, that's super powerful. It's um, fabulous. Yes, it is. Yeah. So what it sounds like is, you know, you looked at your mom, um, you watched her struggle and you said no, but you found mm-hmm. ways that have totally changed it for you. It absolutely, completely changed. And I see other people suffering and I think, I feel like no woman should have to suffer through this. There mm-hmm. are natural, healthy ways to avoid that. And what makes me so excited about um, nutrition, I mean, I just get giddy about it, is the fact that, so from what I learned recently is, as your estrogen level drops, your chance of heart attack increases. Vitamin oh, wow. E, I did not know that. Yeah, vitamin E and GLA are excellent for your heart. So while I'm doing something to prevent hot flashes and, and night sweats and so on, I'm doing things to improve my heart health as well. And so that's the side benefits of using nutrition. That's what I get really, really excited about. Yeah. So that's your passion. So, I mean, it sounds like you've been able to combine your passions with a life you love to live. Um, What does Mm -hmm. it look like for you now um, and your day to day? So day to day, let me just add one more thing before we start with the day to day. Oh, sure. So, okay. So another thing I watched my mom go through is um, her parathyroids were pulling the calcium from her bones and her bone density was down 9%. So she ended up having her parathyroids removed and they wanted to put her on Fosomax and she says, no, I'd rather try Shackley first. So she did that, went back a year later and her bone density level was right back to normal where it should have been. Wow. And for some reason, even after going through a bone marrow transplant, she decided she should go horseback riding. The horse threw her, and she came down on her shoulder. She was badly bruised, but she never broke a bone. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah, osteomatrix proved itself. (laughs) Wow. And how old was she at the time when she got thrown from the horse? Probably 66, 67. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I've had people tell me, like I had an 80-year-old tell me, oh, this is what you have to look forward to, you know, bone loss and taking these shots. And then I could very confidently say, no, I don't. I take Shackley. Because my 80-year-old upline was just told recently that she has bones of a teenager. Oh, wow. So, so yeah, I'll take my Shackley. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. (laughs) I'm going to go take some more after this call. I already took mine this morning, but I'm going to take some more. (laughs) I will too, maybe. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's awesome. (laughs) I just can't believe that. She was over 60. I mean, most 60-year-olds, well, not most, but a lot that I've seen can hardly get around, Mm -hmm. you know, and the fact that she was out riding a horse, got thrown, I'm sure it it was painful, but didn't break a bone no she made it through wow wow yeah that's amazing pretty amazing yes yeah so is there anything else you would like to add there (laughs) let me check my notes nope (laughs) I don't think so okay I think we're good (laughs) so the day to day Mm -hmm. what what does your life look like because I know you you continue to stay home with your kids and be involved in their lives and you have a farm with your chickens, which I love. We do. We do. 
Yeah. So what does, how does your business fit into your everyday life? Cause you're busy. I am. And you know, it's interesting because, um, when I first got involved with Shackley and started a business, I was gun ho. I did a lot. I uh, mm. grew my business. And then when my mom became very sick, you know, I had two small children as well. I hardly did anything, but I never stopped getting paid. I've always gotten a paycheck every single month. Um, no matter how much or how little I've put into it. Of course, you know, you always want to put into your business, invest in it and right. put time into <laughs> it. Don't stop. Right. <laughs> well, you had that strong build, right? You had already built had, up a base. Yes. So and a lot of people who started with me are still with me eight and a half years later. Wow. So that's a blessing. Um, so like in daily life, you know, my kids are off to school now. And um, mm -hmm. so I have time during the day to work on things and, talk with people. Being a stay-at-home mom, it's also priceless to have a business because I moved to a town I didn't know anyone. And mm -hmm. of course you get to know people through your kids, but it's different when you're building the personal relationship through health and wellness. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm able to work on that. I work with uh, our team. We just started doing health chats through Zoom, which mm -hmm. is really fun and exciting. Um, and home events. I haven't done as many home events. I still like to do those, mm -hmm. but so it's basically just sharing on Facebook, trying to educate people. And, mm -hmm. and I can't go anywhere where somebody's complaining, not complaining about health or issues. And I, yeah. I almost yeah. always have a Shackley solution. <laughs> I try not to, I try yes. to hold back a little bit because I don't want them to think negatively of that if I'm always giving them a Shackley solution. But honestly, mm -hmm. Um, there's mm -hmm. just so many uh, benefits to being involved in Shackley. Yeah, but knowing what you know, it's hard not to share, right? It is I always hard say, not I'd to rather share. someone say, no, thank you, than why didn't you tell me? Exactly, and I, I have to remind myself of that sometime. Like, be brave, get up, and, and, mm -hmm. and share that mm -hmm. story because you never know how you could benefit them. Mm-hmm. So what advice would you give to others who might be frustrated? Maybe they're watching their parents um, and their parents aren't thriving, you know, or just in their mm -hmm. own health or in their work. What, what advice would you offer to people who are kind of frustrated where they are? Get involved and start learning. Um, mm -hmm. I had to be involved in the business because I needed to have easy access to resources and so on. And it's not just coming from Shackley just so people know that it's not just coming from Shackley, but there's all kinds of resources out there to help learn and to grow and to learn about nutrition and what it can do for you. Um, mm -hmm. Get involved and listen to health chats that we do, or um, there's just so much great information out there anymore. So, mm -hmm. to, or just ask, <laughs> Wait, <laughs> just <right>. ask me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So those health chats, do you do them every week? No, we do not. Um, we've only done a couple so far. We've done one on green cleaners. We did one on women's health, which we're going to do again in September. Um, but they're just okay. invaluable information so people can learn um, and learn what their options are. There are healthy options, okay. and this is a great way to learn about them. Okay. Um, so for anyone who's watching, if you'd like to be invited to one of Brenda's next health chats, then comment below, and I'm sure she would be happy to get you the link and – um, so you can learn more. Um, I love that you're focused on education because we don't know what we don't know, right? <laughs> That's right. And knowledge is power. It really is. Yeah. Knowledge is Very power. Yeah. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with anyone watching today, Brenda? Not that I can think of. I've gone down all my notes here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's always a pleasure to be able to share my Shackley story and, and how I got involved because I felt that mm -hmm. this is where God led me to be. You know, it wasn't mm -hmm. really me looking for something. I was led mm -hmm. directly to it. And the fact that Ethel marched right back there without hesitation introduced the business to me. You know, I just mm -hmm. had to listen and mm -hmm. go forward. I'm not a business oriented person. I'm, I'm still not. It frustrates my husband. He's a, he's a um, <laughs> entrepreneur himself. And he asks me questions and I'm like, I don't know. I just share what I love and, and what I know will help people. And that's how I built my business. He goes like, okay, <laughs> but it works. <laughs> it works. Yeah. So. <laughs> that's my husband too. He's the numbers guy. And he's like, looking at your projections for volume in the future and looking mm -hmm. at your past, you know, I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> 
I'm, I'm focused on today. Like. <laughs> That's right. That's what I do. Too. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, thank you so much, Brenda, for being here thank today. You. And like I said, if anyone wants information on those health chats, then comment below. Brenda would love to get you that info. Um, yes. And with that, we will wrap up again. My okay. Pleasure for thank you so today. much, Chelsea. I'll see you in Vegas. Yep. Thank you. I will. <laughs> All right. Take care. I'm so excited. <laughs> take care. Uh, oh my goodness. Bye, I am too. Bye bye. Ha, <laughs>